Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here, and I thought today we'd talk a little bit about some troubleshooting that you may have with some of your Google Meet meetings, as well as some possible security issues and concerns that maybe you've been thinking of lately with some of the things that have been in the news about other video conference platforms. So first off, let's talk about some troubleshooting things that you may have as an end user. So one of the things that you may notice that we are in our screen here before we get into our meeting. If we're finding that in the lower left corner of the screen maybe our three little green lines aren't working very well and we're not seeing them any movement there at all that means your mic isn't connected or working well we can try to look at that first if you go to the lower right corner you'll see three dots and when you click on the three dots in that side of the pane we will see that we can access our settings for our Google Meet from here before we get into the meeting if you click on it from here you'll notice that from here we can look and diagnose our audio and microphone problems in terms of our speaker and microphone. If the three little lines are moving there to the right side, your microphone's probably good. If it is not and you're speaking, you can change that over to maybe your internal microphone or speaker set that you have in your laptop itself. Another question that I get is, you know what, I've got the family at home, it looks like the internet's being stressed, I'm not getting good quality on my video and audio, it's kind of choppy. One of the things that you can decide to do from here is go to the video tab and you can select the send and receive resolution. You can knock it down from the 720p down to 360p. And basically what that'll do is it'll just kind of reduce the quality, not needing as much bandwidth, not needing as much memory for your computer, and things of that nature. So if you don't need to be on that high end of the quality of video and audio, that may be something to look at as well. Another thing that people often ask me is, well, you know what, I joined via my laptop and all of a sudden my audio goes out. I can't hear anybody, I can't talk to anybody, what do I do? Well, you'll see that as you can get into a meeting from here to the right half of our screen, we have the option to use our phone for audio. Now, another option you can do is do this from inside of your Google Meet. So let's jump in. So now that we're in our Google Meet, what do we do? We can't hear, we can't see, or whatever it may be. In the lower right corner of the screen, you'll see the three dot icon. From there, you can access your settings, double check there, but then also, if you find that, you know what, I don't have time for this, you can immediately switch over from your computer's audio to use a phone for audio. And when you do this, it will give you the option for the computer to call you or your meet to call you. You just enter your phone number there that you'd want to get called at, or you can use the dial in option immediately dial in from there. So it's a couple of things that you may need to do just on the fly. So those are a couple of troubleshooting things that are probably the most common issues that people have with Google Meet. Now another question that I get from people is, well, what's the security like with Google Meet? And actually the security is really solid with Google Meet meetings. Unlike some other platforms that recently you've heard have been getting bombed or we'll just say hacked. So some security pieces. There are proactive protections that are going on to combat abuse and block hijacking attempts from the backside of your Google Meet, meaning from your admins and your admin panels. Some of the things could include only meeting creators and calendar owners can mute or remove other participants. This ensures that instructors can't be removed or muted by student participants. Other things that you may see are only meeting creators and calendar owners can approve requests to join. So sometimes if you're an external user, they may get those little pop-ups saying so-and-so wants to join. Someone can click on the admit button and get them in that way. So a little bit more secure in that regard. That means students and other people can't allow external participants to join via video and that external participants can't join before the other person. Meeting participants can't rejoin nicknamed meetings. So if you've already got a name to it, unlike what we do for right now, you'll see that once that final participant is left, it means that the person, the creator or instructor, is the last person to leave a nickname meeting. Students can't join later without that person being present. Another piece. 
There is secure deployment and access controls for admins and end users. One of the really cool tools that Google has involved in that part is the investigation tool. And this is only available for G Suite Enterprise, G Suite Enterprise for Education type of customers. You can use the investigation tool too. And once again, this is for your admins. They can access data about devices that are using Google Meet access the device log data to get a clear view of the devices and applications being used to access your data. They can access data about Gmail messages including email content. Access Gmail log data to find any race malicious emails. Maybe mark emails as spam or phishing or send emails to users inbox. They can view search results that list suspended users. Access drive log data to investigate file sharing in your organization as well as investigate the creation and deletion of documents that maybe are being shared within Meet. Now there are secure compliant and reliable meeting infrastructure meaning secure by design that infrastructure. There's also compliance certifications. Google Cloud products include including Google Meet regularly undergo independent verification of their security privacy and compliance controls including validation against standards such as SOC ISO, IEC, High Trust, and FedRAMP. Google supports your compliance requirements around regulations such as GDPR and HIPAA, as well as COPPA and FERPA for education. There's also incident management, reliability, and transparency from the admin panel as well. So I hope some of these things that maybe it's more towards those people that are managing the domain and such, but I hope there's something for everyone on this video just to kind of give you a little insight on the security around your Google Meet meetings. You don't have to worry about being hacked and invaded in some of your meets, as well as in the background, your admins, your domain administrators, they've got your back. Until next time, everyone, this is Gary the Google Guy, signing off.